What up, K Rugs the Sober Dog coming at you. Today, why do addicts always go in the bathroom? Why do they always stay in the bathroom? Might not seem like a big deal to you, but a lot of people want to know that and Google, Yahoo, all of them, this question is being asked thousands of times. So I'm going to get into that today. Now, the last one is definitely a weird one, but I'll explain why when we get there, but it's a real one. As always, Sober Dogs does not promote or condone any drug use. These videos are for informative and educational purposes only. All right. Hey, help me out. Hit that subscribe. Love to see, uh, you know, all the supporters. You guys are the best. Thank you. Let's get right into it. Why are addicts always in the bathroom? So for the obvious reason, you know, maybe obvious might not. I don't know. You know, some people, uh, unfortunately have lived with somebody or been through it themselves. Others haven't, but the privacy, you know, no matter where you are, whether it's at home, at work, um, at a McDonald's, it doesn't matter. Somebody says they got to go to the bathroom, they get some privacy. Even in prison, that's where everyone did drugs, was in the bathroom because, you know, the guards had the right to look in the stall and see what you're doing, and they did sometimes, but out of the entire dorm or the entire unit, that was the one place you had the best chance of not getting, you know, people barge in on you and peek. Out in the world, you know, people respect. They see a closed stall. They see a bathroom door shut. They're not going to barge in. That kind of feeds right into the number two one, less risk. Addicts, you know, obviously when they're out and about in the world, the risk, you're trying to slowly mitigate it. I mean, yeah, they're going to choose the drug if it's like a choice of I got to get high you know, in my car, nowhere, I'm going to do the car, even though it's risky. But if they have the option, okay, we can go in the gas station bathroom, we can go in the McDonald's bathroom, so-and-so's bathroom, whatever, they're going to choose that. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of events where people have OD'd in Walmart bathrooms, McDonald's bathrooms, Starbucks, and some other coffee shops in Seattle and those areas have actually put special light bulbs in their bathrooms that are like a blue light so that if people are in there trying to shoot up, the light makes it very hard for them to find a vein. They did that to kind of deter people, you know, whether it worked or not, I have no idea. But, you know, that's unfortunately how popular it is for people to use in the bathroom. Third reason, they don't want to ruin a good high. For... People who have been using, you know, a lot. Over that time, somebody has destroyed their high. They have been walked in on by a spouse, by a mother, father, by a brother, sister. They have been doing it in the car and a cop pulled them over or somebody pulled up next to them and they freaked out. This happened to me. You know, I was uh, sitting in the car in Baltimore doing it and a car pulled up real slow behind me and I always oh, had to be a cop and I you know freaked out and got rid of all my stuff it wasn't a cop the car passed up right by me you know after a minute of sitting behind me without their lights on which was weird but whatever and that was my the last of my stuff so I was so pissed from that point on I always went in the bathroom to avoid that exact thing so most of the time People aren't going to barge in on somebody in the bathroom. Addicts know that. They don't want to ruin the high, especially with, you know, when addiction gets worse, how much crazy stuff, you know, we went through to get the money. So that's kind of the, uh, you know, the third reason. They don't want to ruin their high and they know the bathroom is the safer option. Um, number four, offers them many of the tools they're going to need if, you know, if somebody is, let's say, snorting a line of, you know, Coke, pills, whatever, it's not that hard to kind of like get it out, do it quick, and then be done. It's a little bit of a process, but it's easier. Now, when people are IV users, there's more of a setup to it. There's more of a whole process. So in the bathroom, getting all those little trinkets we need is a lot easier. They're going to need, you know, a spoon and or 
like some type of a lot of people use the top of the needles like a little cup thingy to you know actually mix the drugs in the water um, you know most people have a cup or a spoon or a bottle cap or something in their bathroom um, they're going to need clean water in the bathroom they're going to need cotton usually people got q-tips or tampons or something in the bathroom cotton balls all that can be found in there um, they're usually going to need some type of paper towel or toilet paper to you know dab it at the end if it starts bleeding a little bit or to clean up all that stuff's in the bathroom so you just took three or four things you would normally need and you don't have to carry them with you because you know they're all already in there so it makes it kind of easier it offers them a lot of tools now you know other things too if somebody's smoking they like doing it in the bathroom because usually they got the shower fans or a window things like that kind of gives them more you know again more tools to you know take care of whatever they got to do which leads into the next one as well perfect cleanup spot addicts if they're in the bathroom and they're doing all that if they do inject you know a lot of times people miss they can't find a vein they're doing this or that there might be blood they got a perfect you know they got the sink and the paper towel and everything and the toilet paper to wipe it up you know they could wash their face they could wash their hands if they smell if they're smoking they're doing something like that you know people even you know i know i did this back in the day do it before or after or during a shower you know it's that's a good kind of uh you know excuse after if you like smoking something in the bathroom people would hop right in the shower to get rid of the smell and whatever you know that may be more younger when people are like uh trying to avoid you know mom and dad smelling the weed and the you know but still you know people can do it when they're with their spouse or whoever it doesn't matter because it's a you know oh gotta take a shower hon so obviously anytime someone takes a shower doesn't mean that they're in there using drugs but you guys know what i mean and um the last one uh, this is kind of the weird weird reason but it is you know actually a weird uh, actually a real reason is uh, paranoia um one thing many people will do if they're doing large amounts of coke large amounts of crack uh meth a lot of uppers and even like heroin and some downers there's a lot of picking a lot of scratching picking popping pimples trimming nose hair there's just this like weird obsession afterwards when you see a like a you know a crack addict or a meth addict and you see a lot of scabs and stuff most of those are from picking the drugs make people pick and scratch and if you have a pimple you can sit there for 10 minutes and pop that thing and it has been popped nine minutes ago it was totally popped every every molecule is out of that thing and you will still keep sitting there and digging and digging and scratching and digging and doing that so obviously most bathrooms have a mirror addicts like that because they could sit in front of the mirror and do what they got to do but then if they are picking and digging and scratching and they make a mess or they're bleeding or whatever they got the sink and everything right there to wash up before they come out so that's kind of the weird reason but you know it is a real reason it is unfortunately something that many people do myself included so that's why addicts are always in the bathroom main one being the privacy and less risk but just because you see this again doesn't mean it's you know someone's in there using but this combined with you know someone who's in the bathroom all the time combined with other signs mood swings financial problems things like that could mean that there's a bigger issue all right k rugs the sober dog i'm out see ya